Alright, what is up y'all? We're here at the pond and it's an overcast day. It's cool outside. So I'm thinking about tying up this um, little Bagley square bill. It's a shallow diver, which is good because this uh, pond has a lot of grass in it. So I think I'm going to tie that up. Let's see what we can do. All right, got the Bagley little square bill on. I'm really hoping we can get on a moving bike today. Check the track. All right, it's good. Let's see if this can not catch grass. Really hoping we can get on a moving bike today. first cast that's not the best sign but there should be some parts in this pond where I can not get grass but well that didn't last long <laughs> it's Diving too deep for that for this pond, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and switch it up again. It's perfect conditions for a top water. I don't know if this is gonna be the right one, but I think it'd be cool to catch a fish on this. I fished with it once or twice before, but I've never caught a fish on it. All right. Let's see what we can do with this bait right here. Let me know in the comments below if y'all have ever fished with something like this. And if you did, did you have, have you ever caught anything on it? I'd be curious to see what y'all's thoughts are on it. Oh, dang it. Didn't lift it up fast enough. Yeah, let's toss this around a little bit. See what we can do. Fair shot. Got one, one blow up on it, and no fish. So you know, with these 
a little bit of wind. I think I'm going to tie on a spinner bait. Make sure that goes in my bag. All right. Let's see what the old spinner bait can do. Oh, great. Big old clump of grass right there when I was just testing it. <laughs> yep, looks good. That's what we're working with right here. Let's see what we can do. There's one. Yes, sir. Finally. Good old spinner bait. That's a good one for in here. Whew, finally. Ah. Oh, he bit me up. Heck yeah. Get a picture of him real quick. Nice. Spinnerbait bass. Ah. Dang it. That hook went straight in my thumb. Did not feel great. Yo, that hurt. Mmm. All right. It's first spinnerbait bass. I haven't caught a bass on spinnerbait in a long time. Man, look at my thumb. Yikes. That does not feel good. Um. I don't want to wipe it on my shirt or anything like that. It's bleeding pretty good though. Let's see if we can get some more on the spinner bait. A great such a great fall bait fish are eating are feeding up in the fall on um, bluegills shad whatever's in the body of water you're fishing they're feeding up so Sh any re really any shad imitation baits are great in the fall but spinner baits are known to be killer baits in the fall So I'm going to keep tossing this around. I bet we can get another fish or two in this little corner. I'm going to try slowing down my retrieve a little bit and just bringing it in. There's one. Oh, man. Hammered it. Boom. Number two. Spinner bait, y'all. Telling you. It's trying to get hooked this time. There we go. Oh my goodness, man. Their teeth are so sharp this time of year. When they're feeding up on those sheds, stuff like that. I'm still bleeding a little bit. I'm 
bit right there about three four feet off the bank you know with their teeth being so sharp I need to check my line make sure it's not frayed yeah it's all right all right heck yeah I knew we'd get another one in this corner let's keep going get him with the spinner bait they they wouldn't buy the spinner bait so that was not good i'm just gonna tie on this walking bait and try that out real quick before i before i head out and let's try out this walking bait a little bit see if we can trigger a little Oh man, I got stuff all over my... Ah, <sighs> straight in the moss. That's great. That's great. There's one. I knew it. I knew it. And this is why I brought the pliers. Stop. This is why you bring the pliers. There we go. Did I not grab him? Oh my gosh, I didn't even grab him. I gotta go grab him. Could have swore I grabbed him. Oh my goodness. He just rehooked re himself even more. There we go. Splash me. Alright. Now I'm putting them in my pocket. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it for today's video. They bit the spinner bait and bit a top water, so it seems like fall fishing is finally here. Uh, with these last couple of cold fronts and uh, overcast days, the fishing's been really good. So it's so awesome that uh, finally it's not just waiting in the heat, throwing a Texas rig or something like that. Ugh. That was getting old. That summer fishing, just sweat, being dripping sweat the first two minutes you're outside. So, yep, sounds like uh, summer fishing's here. And uh, yeah, spinner baits. Crank baits, just swim baits, shad imitation baits are gonna do great for you guys this time of year. With cold fronts coming in, um, just cooler temperatures, the fish are gonna start feeding up. And any shad imitations, bluegill imitations, whatever uh, the bass are eating in your area or in your pond or lake, that's gonna be what you guys should throw. Um, top water early morning is gonna be great. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there was only like three fish catches, but um, yeah, that's just that's all I got today. But the fact that they bit a spinner bait in top water is is really good, a really good sign. So I'm hoping to do some hunting videos coming up soon as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked this video, any video suggestions you guys might have. Um, if you guys want to see hunting videos. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, bow season's about to start here in the next week and a half or so, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I see you guys in the next one.